Right. I've been having a bit of fun with this trail start. This is the inside of it. And I've just loosely pegged down the inner net. The other side of the pole. The inner net of course goes with the duo mid. So it doesn't really fit in here very well. But never expected it to fit in here. Uh, perfectly to be honest so I'm not too bothered about that you can see behind the internet there is a lot of room spare so I can put a plastic round sheet down there but I really have been having fun and I, I have not got a, a perfect pitch on the outside so I think a couple of emails with Ron and maybe some uh, advice from other people might be able to uh, get this pitched properly because I'm afraid I haven't really done this justice at all of all my Cuban fibre pitches this is unfortunately the one everyone's been waiting for and probably the one I've cocked up the most unfortunately but uh, I'll show you the outside and just promise you don't laugh because I know this isn't right. Now I'll show you the, the I'll show you the back first, and and I've got uh, I've got this. This is the back. I believe this is the back. Corner, although of course there's five corners and geometry was never my strong point I don't think so that's the back and I've got that side reasonably tight but not very tight so and the same on, on that side so I'm obviously doing there's something I'm not doing right I'm sure and then when we come around to this side, you'll, you'll notice that, you know, I've sort of done this, the same thing. I, I think I'm trying to turn a five-sided shelter I I into a four-sided shelter or something. Because I'm sure I'm trying to make a square out of it when I shouldn't be. And then this is the other side of it here. So I've sort of shown you four, corners, four sides of it that are reasonably tight, but I have to say they're not as tight as I'd like them to be. Uh, but then I've got to show you the front, and, and this this is not, I'm sure that is not quite right. It, that doesn't look like the photographs that I've seen. Each time I tried to uh, stretch it out to make it less of a square I was all I always had a great big flap left so and and I've had to and I've had to put that pole up very high because if I lower that pole then I've got even more of a flap so, I must be doing something wrong, but I've been here for nearly an hour, and, and I must admit I still haven't quite cracked this nut yet, so I'm certainly not going to give up on it. I'll have another go next week, and hopefully a couple of emails will get this uh, sorted. But it's really difficult to to explain. But each time I'm, let me let me just sort of collapse a bit. Right, I just collapse that down. Right. So, for example, when I. Stretch 
this corner here obviously I then get a load of slack on on that side so it's sort of as I'm as I'm pulling one corner tight it's almost as if it's coming around and then I'm getting a bit left in the you know so I pull that tight so I've now got four corners tight ish although I must admit I would prefer to have these edges tighter still I've had tighter edges on on my shelters so I'd like to get those tighter although that's the least of my concerns at the moment but by getting them all tight I've got all this left over it's almost as if I've got too, have I got too much or maybe not enough I you know I don't know as I, say, I don't want to you know I'd rather it had gone up absolutely perfectly and and I'd have you know said you know so I'm not quite sure I'm doing something wrong I'm sure so any any advice on this would be appreciated quickly go in the side I haven't done the door up properly I'm just going to attach this up here just going to get the internet up right okay that's the internet up and you know for a uh, for something that isn't designed to be in here it, it's not too bad it does hang here because of course this shelter is a little bit lower than the duo mid and this really is the, the internet for the duo mid but there is a clip here which I can clip I can put that clip up there so that just brings that away a little bit. So whether I would actually use that or not in this shelter, I'm not sure. And at the moment, whether I will use this shelter first up, I'm not sure. I need to get this need to get this pitch absolutely perfect before I'd even think about using using this first but as I say I'm pretty sure that it's, it's it must be something I'm, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong but God knows what oh my ankle isn't too bad actually and the walk in I thought would be about three quarters of an hour but was only it was only half an hour, so it didn't take very long to to walk in. So you, you just got to ignore that flappy bit now, because I've only just put it back temporarily because I took it down. So as I say, ignore that flappy bit at the front. I'm trying to turn it into a square. I'm sure that's what I'm doing. I'm sure all my angles are right angles, and I'm, and that's and that's just not right. They, they shouldn't. I shouldn't have right angles. I'm sure. So if that is pulled, it's just pulled as tight as it looks.
Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a, been an experience, if nothing else.